This is a little different from the opening of Breath of the Wild, I would say. Oh, he's just embracing me like a little baby. Hey, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome to Pokemon Legends Arceus, or Arceus, or even Arceus. There's a bunch of ways to say it, and there's no voice acting in this game, so I'm going to go ahead and use my preferred pronunciation. If you want to share yours, you could leave a comment, that always helps. Speaking of which, I want to say thank you to everyone who has been extremely patient with me once again. I have had another one of my famous hiatuses, and I think I, I'm in a much better place. The world maybe isn't, things are rough still, but I am very excited to play a new Pokemon game. What I have heard is one of the best Pokemon games, so we'll see about that. I'm going to give my own review as we go along, of course, but I am excited. This is uh, something new, something interesting, so I appreciate you joining me as we meet God. What is going on here? Open your eyes. It's already starting with some Breath of the Wild. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It's a glowy place. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus, whichever you want to use. I'm not telling. <laughs> Now I wish to know thine appearance. Use your many, many eyes. Aren't you omniscient? So, I, I think when I was younger I would pick blonde, but I'm going to go with a, a darker hair color. And also, I kind of am going to do a little bit of a role-playing of a character, as you'll see here. I thought about this a little bit. I'm going to go with Mizuki, which is the last name of Shigeru Mizuki. He was a very... Oh, I spelled it wrong. That's not a great start. He is a uh, very, very influential manga artist and author, and he is a noted, like, yokai historian. Pokemon very in uh, influenced by yokai, of course, and we'll talk about those as we go. Also, his, his first name, Shigeru, that's Gary's name in the Japanese show, but also Shigeru Miyamoto. I feel like there's some Nintendo connections there, so we're going to pay tribute to him. I also think if he was to maybe travel through time, he would be super down with learning about these monsters that we call Pokemon. Mizuki. And it's got water in there as well, so that works for me. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Is this Professor Oak behind a curtain? This really sounds like the Professor spiel we'd normally get. Mizuki. If that's even your real name, seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. Man, so we're going to have to uh, catch a bunch of these little guys if we want to meet God, or Kami, or Kamui, whatever we want to call Arceus. Oh, we have, uh, I think that's a Kalos t-shirt. Whoa! We're just, you know, what did God do to it? Oh, my phone! <laughs> I need... I've got uh, some some uh, tech issues, if I'm that concerned. I, no one wants to drop their phone into the void, but much less have it stolen by Llama God. What are you doing? What games does thee have on thine phone? Ooh. What the... I turned it into an orb. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. This is a little different from the opening of Breath of the Wild, I would say. Oh, he's just embracing me like a little baby. This is uh, this is going interesting places immediately. Here we go, Pokemon Legends Arceus. I'm going to keep using a different pronunciation <laughs> each time. And uh, there, is that the loading thing? Is his little, like, uh, llama girdle thing? The rings around him. We could call him a Kirin as well, because that's kind of what he... <gasps> Wake up! I don't know who this is. Oh, do wake up, won't you? Oh, it's a, it's a Rowlet yelling at me. <laughs> Are you alive, my boy? It's the king of Hyrule. Oh, no. There he is. That's the professor. He's got a lab coat, so he probably has a degree. Look at those. I look so little compared to everybody. <laughs> I'm just a short king on a lonely beach. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness, you seem unharmed. I, this professor 
I think he's from Galar because I know uh, in the Japanese he's like speaks English to you at first and then he, he switches to Japanese. All the other regions, I think he speaks English at first on accident. Uh, who are you? I know kind of who he is. I'm omniscient as well. Where am I? Why, this is Prelude Beach, of course. Dear me, did you did the shock of your fall somehow addle your memory? You're wearing cargo shorts, my boy. I must say your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? Uh, I doubt it. I don't know. Oh, look at that. He's so worried. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? Mm, I don't know. I like you doing the second option, just because, you know, most people might try the first. Uh, so you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? I don't know what to do. This little guy. Yeah, I hope he can uh, cut it in old-timey Japan. I don't want to say ancient, because it's not that long ago, honestly. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Crew! It sounded more like he went, whoop, 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 whoop. like Curly from the Stooges, but okay, crew. Foom! Blish splash! <laughs> he was taking a bath. Oh my, I'd completely forgotten. I had just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd be appear here. Ah, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. Nod. Oh, good, okay. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Uh, yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Sonic Wolf's fire is just going crazy. Oh, yes, and what might your name be? Oh, ho, so you're called Mizuki. That name is quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Oh, it's actually got the characters for water and wood. So, a couple of my favorite of the elements. <laughs> oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Laventon. I'm something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three here. Whoop, whoop. Blast it all! <laughs> Don't blast and bother! <laughs> My darling Pokemon, why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you! Is he secretly Arceus? Wait, you three, wait! He's doing the spiel, and Ar Arceus was too. Okay, so let's get in here. Get in these options. I'm gonna change a couple things. So that's all the controls. Alright. Do, do, do. And then, yeah, settings. Fast text speed. I gotta invert. I don't know. I'm one of the, the weirdos that needs an inverted vertical. I think it was Star Fox 64 that messed me up for that. And then. Oh, I like the idea that we can uh, toggle the the hood off and on. I don't even if I need to, yeah, be prompted every time I throw. And then that's good. I don't have the best hearing. I think narrow would be good. All right. And, you know, we might as well say, oop, over. There we go. Let's save. I'm doing auto save off because I want to be able to save before I, you know, challenge, you know, if we find a shiny or just a, a Pokemon that we want to get another shot at, potentially. I think being able to save beforehand helps from what I've heard. But we can run! Look at us go in our little flip-flops. Okay. Well, I guess we should go to the sign of God. It's calling me. <gasps> There's a glowing, beeping object over there. What did he do? My phone. <laughs> This looks like they made real cases of this, or they're making them. This looks like the most uncomfortable phone case that would just poke you constantly. Found something that resembles a phone. Could be a creature. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. <laughs> He's so shocked. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone, and thy mission seek out all Pokemon. All right. Just shove it into my <laughs> big pockets. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have changed your phone, make and model. The carrier, your service has, has changed. There is unlimited data and text, but maybe some 
heavenly surcharges. Look at this outfit. Yeah, that shirt I think is from Gen 6, but yeah, he looks like he's like about to go out in the ditch behind the house, behind the cul-de-sac and do go play. He's going to make some boats out of leaves with his best friend Kyle and race him down the creek. Oh, alas, yet another miss. Aha, I'm glad you've come to my rescue. My new friend from the sky. Did he see me just fall? I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. This music is so somber. Now that one is Rowlet. It's <laughs> they have tragic backstories. His grandmother, you see, they, someone tried to kill two birds with one stone and they only got one, so here he is. No. That would be too sad. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. There it is. Little crew. I'm so happy Rowlet is back. And we also have... Oh, that one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or irate. It is completely annoyed right now. It's just fuming. Foom. It's fuming. I guess it's mad that the professor keeps trying to catch it and it wants to run free. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. I think it's called a Scalchop. Plish plash. It's like its little sword. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. Here. Here you are, my boy. Pokeballs, throw these at Pokemon to catch them. Here's 50 of them. They're <laughs> <laughs> they just tumble all over the ground. A mysterious ball that can be thrown... I don't have to read it in his voice. Thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the necessary materials. Ah, by that... But that won't do for an explanation. Really, I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink down itself down to minuscule size. Oh, and that's where Pokeballs come in. I always thought they came, they turned into like data or light, but I guess they can shrink. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon and why the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. They hate me, you see. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though, far be it for me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skills in this area. He's been studying too much. He doesn't have a good throwing arm. Okay, I can ca catch the Pokemon. They can be caught in Pokeballs. I can do ZR to hold that down. And then release. Okay, and I can cancel with B. That's good to know, so I can be like, nope. Actually, I want the ball to just disappear out of my hands. That's weird. Where'd he go? Where are you, Laberton? I can't dip and dive yet. Oh, what do you say? If you run out of Pokeballs, come see me. I'm sure you have many questions after your fall from the sky, but let's go one step at a time, eh? Besides, catching those Pokemon is to their benefit, too. If you say so. Okay, so we got... Oh, hello. Can I talk to him? He's cute. He's got quite a noggin, though. So I think his design, you know, obviously he becomes Samurott later, but uh, he's got a hairstyle almost. His little ears are like a uh, lower down noble, uh, noble born samurai. Oh, wonderful, you've caught a Pokemon. It seems you've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Mizuki. A jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon the slightest. They could kill you with ease, my boy. Oh, I didn't even... Okay, I hope that wasn't who I was picking, because I just kind of did it without thinking. <gasps> oh, he's... Uh... Oh, okay, he saw me. I love that... Yeah, Cyndaquil's got his flame back, even if he's irate when he uses it, apparently. There we go. Get him right in the fire. Oh... Oh, my eyes. <laughs> Don't put your eye into the little hole. You'll get blasted. I can hardly believe it, Mizuki. Incredible. You know, many people fear or even approach... Uh, to even approach Pokemon. Never mind, catch them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap up this up sharpish, shall we? 
Yeah, I'm gonna get my favorite. If I had to pick a favorite Pokemon, I would probably pick Rowlet. I love, yeah, Heracross used to be my favorite, but a lot of the newer ones I love. Cramorant and Farfetch'd, of course. Yeah, mostly birds, if you couldn't guess, but I like a lot of Pokemon. Joltik, Daydane. This guy, I think, is my favorite. So let's beam him right in the eye. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, did that bounce off of him? Whoa, that was weird. I was too close. Couldn't get like a point blank shot. Oh! Oh no, my favorite hates me. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old boy. Yeah, oh, he's gone. He ran away with all he's doing that. Let's hit him through the bush where we can't even see him. That's how good we are at this already. Oh. It's not too tough when you can just lock onto him. There we go. <laughs> My face just is like burnt. Those little fireworks are cool. That's a nice touch to show that you've caught it. I, even if it, yeah, it falls into some grass, you can see the fireworks. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. They seem to like me. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. They tried to catch you, but their little talons couldn't do it. I must say, Mizuki, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? I've been playing since 98. Well, one can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here now. This thing, you see? <laughs> Ah, seek, seek out old Pokemon. Okay. We've got a lot of nice apps on there. That object is an arc phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? Laverton just vaporized by seeing modern technology into a fine mist. If you indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile the region's first complete record of its Pokemon. So Professor Oak ripped you off, huh? We in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in the region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not only have, uh, not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? You've convinced- well, well my, vo my goal might be to go home, but I guess I like catching Pokemon, of course. Well, uh, I don't know, shucks, mister. Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? But thou must. <laughs> If the these and thous of uh, Arceus aren't enough, this is some dragon quests, like, you have to say yes. Alright. Then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. We can't have you running around in a t-shirt. Follow me, then. Onward to Jubilife Village. So yeah, Professor Oak, I thought, was the inventor of the Pokedex, but I guess he uh, he ripped off someone from years ago. He's looking at me. He's like, oh, we're, we're in a pickle now, Adam. <laughs> what is going... That's Mount Coronet, I believe. I have not played a Gen 4 game since, like, 08, 09. I think uh, Platinum came out around then. Yeah, that was the one I, I played. So, yeah, I'm a little rusty on my Sinnoh geography. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsmen. This young man was a great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he doesn't say anything. That guy, he's not, he's not paid to, uh, to speak. He's paid to stand there and have cool mutton chops. Okay, whoa. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, they have some more modern uh, buildings. This is most likely like Meiji era, late 1800s. There's a bunch of reasons I can go into for that, but we'll get to that when we have a little more freedom and a little less narrative later. This way, if you please. Okay. Jubilee Village, it's come a long way thanks to the fine people of the Galaxy Expedition team. 
This road we're on now is known to locals as Kanala Avenue. I've never seen that child here before. The village has been scarcely two years ago. There's much to do, not many to do it. I understand you must be more than a tad curious about the village. A new recruit for the survey corps, maybe. And since we know so little of the local Pokemon, people hesitate to set foot outside the village. I understand you must be... Yeah. There's so many people talking. Hmm, that would look suspicious. Where'd you come from? Did she say, like, ooh, 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 ooh earlier? <laughs> that impressive building up ahead. Plus, is the galaxy. All I understand you must... Yeah, okay. I am curious. What manner of dress is that? Shh, quiet, it'll hear you. Oh no, is she coming this way? Keep walking, stranger. Yeah, I'm getting, uh, he keeps saying that when I, uh, I keep dilly-dallying. I want to see all this stuff. We'll get to it later. Does the professor know that child? He won't let me dash. We're not supposed to talk to strangers, you know. Who's with the, that with the professor? Oh, botheration. I've almost forgotten. Is he Pooh Bear? Oh, botheration. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? It's got some stalks growing. It's just past the bridge there, then to the left, the wallflower is called. Okay. <laughs> a little bit of a creepy smile. Oh, okay, I'm getting a call from God. Your arc phone is beeping, or a text. Somehow it seems to show where you need to go next. So we have a map. Oh, nice markers for guidance. Now we can just follow those. Okay. Yeah, that'll help. Thank you. Great Kami. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is a lot to take in, so don't get too lost. Ooh. Speaking of Professor Oak, we have, like, a Poke Pasture over here to put our Pokemon in. That's fun. I love that in the show. Marie's gonna help us. I wonder if there's anyone capable of catching enough Pokemon to fill all the pasture here. This is the village pasture. But yeah, that's that's something, there's a lot of stuff that they only recently started adding to the games, like having big stadium battles, like the Pokemon League, they added that in Sword and Shield, and, uh, oh, show. This region is huge, and there's lots of dangerous Pokemon too, but you came here anyway. How come? Waka. Back to my home, back in my hometown, I've got an old brother who's gonna inherit the family farm and all, but I'm gonna make my own way here in Hisui. How did he... I guess his brother's living alone. I thought the little kid traveled here. I'm pretty new to the village myself, but I try, or I talk to everyone I meet, so I always learn something new. He looks like uh, Jiro from The Wind Rises a little bit. Okay, so let's just head, I won't explore too much until we're given the freedom to. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, I got a bit of a seaweed on my upper lip. Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? Aren't you, Benny? You're the only one with green hair. Is that natural? The wallflower's for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Oh, the wall... I was gonna say, is he Wally's ancestor? Because the wallflower, and he's got green hair. Either that or a salon or a dent. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be minced meat in those flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with someone in the village. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Perhaps you've met Professor Laventon. He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose it's... I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some troubles with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago, and had to take to my bed. She, she definitely isn't Satoshi or Ash's uh, ancestor, because he's just, like, immune to that, basically. But the professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. Unfortunately, oh, unfortunately, it's just as Sakari says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Telling tales out of school, eh, behind my back. Professor. Yes, she's talking smack again. That's something you might say from the future. But everything will be quite all right now. Mizuki here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. He's just, like, smiling and... You'll do it, right? I'm pressuring you into it, but you'll do it. Excuse me. Excuse me. You plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Silene's permission. I'll allow it. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> a mouse or something. Almost. It's an instrument, but... Captain Silene. 
Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. That's definitely Cyrus's ancestor, so hopefully she's a little less scheming. Professor Leventon has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. Now it seems he could he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. I won't ask you, I'll just assume. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh ho, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. A little high strung, but she seems nice enough. Slam, no, <laughs> as much as you can slam a sliding door. Aloof as always, I see. Yeah, she seems nice enough. Well, no matter, the rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? Benny old chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. I'm gonna take a quick drink, because this is a lot of talk. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful stuff, Benny, much obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. I, I think potato mochi, I would also need some some water too. Sounds dry, it's probably good. I've only had, uh, you know, standard sort of glutinous mochi. Professor Laventon, what ex where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Oh, well, you, you know of that great hole in the sky, the one people called the Space-Time Rift? Our new friend fell right out of it. How did I get on the beach then, if that's all the way over the mountain? Just rolled. You can't be serious. <laughs> She's just done with him and his antics. Come now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. And not shaving. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. That there are, in the grass, in forests, by water, or wherever they like. Our job as a survey corps is just research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess, or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's where Mizuki come, will come in. He'll go and take the thunder shocks and the lumps. <laughs> he successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in quick order, you understand. Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. That means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three? We have a hard enough time catching even one when wild Pokemon come after us. Ah, oh, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack, but the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. <laughs> he's not that skilled, but he is stupid. So, uh, we'll, we'll see. Or naive. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now have your feel, Mizuki, and think. If you make it into the Galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. A lot of funding. Or potato mochi, at least. And we scarf down. That's probably a tiring time to wash up on the beach in some sort of isekai situation. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Mizuka has a trial to pass to join the Survey Corps, don't you? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Mizuki's skills. Oh. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Mizuki wasn't. For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. Mm. <laughs> that way. <laughs> Figure it out. Pass the scaffolding. I wonder if they just built that building. But if you fail to pass the trial we put to you tomorrow, you must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate and perhaps your death in the wilds. Jeez. Extreme, harsh, but fair. That looks like... Ooh. 
and I'm already eyeing the village shops. Captain Silene, somewhat like Hisui, in that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, see, she simply puts on a stone front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I, I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. You're quite a klutz, aren't you? And with that, I bid you both a good night. I like his pants. He's got, like, mumpe pants a little bit. Uh, yes, good night. And she's got cool clothes, too. I'm assuming we're gonna get a nice outfit. A rift in the sky. People falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. Yeah, that's gotta be kind of ominous. Has a death mountain sort of vibe. I'm going in. Beauregard. Oh, he's a, he's a guard. Commander Kamado is fantastically strong. Rumor has it he once sent a Pokemon flying with one of those sumo throws he's so proud of. Is it sudo or a sumo or judo or jujitsu? I'm gonna climb this. I have no fear. I've seen God. <laughs> I've looked into God's weird little dangly thing on his head. Choi, where's Bach? Uh, now, who might you be? I haven't seen you here in the village before. The captain of the survey corps, Shailene. I wonder if anything actually scares her. There's a lot of shops and stuff. A new hairstyle means a fresh outlook, and a fresh outlook lets you change your fortunes. I'd love to change my hair and my clothes with Anth. I've never seen clothes quite like yours, hon. Where might they be from? We'll worry about that later. Okay, let's go home here. Kami is leading us to our quarters. And let's check, ooh, big chest for a lot of stuff. They left me garlic and persimmons and some old shoes, that's nice. Oh, speaking of shoes, I have some magical sandal disappearing powers. Of course, you gotta take them off when you go into the actual uh, sleeping area and the walking around area. This chest looks like you could store lots and lots of items in it. A nice fire in the sunken hearth can help keep the entire room heated. It's a dresser of very solid construction where extra sets of clothes can be kept. Let me in there. Oh, is that the Pokedex? What is that? I can't read. I forgot. No. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information. I'll be carrying out your survey work in the Isui region. I can press up to read them at any time. Handy tips for team members. Don't wish your toils to be forgotten. Diligent record saving, record keeping will save you from such a fate. Okay, so I can save by going into the menu. Mm-hmm. Gonna do a lot of nodding and, and frowning in this, apparently. Okay, so that's the tips for that. It's a jug used to store drinking water as a lid on top to keep debris from falling in. We're learning about Japan from a hundred plus years ago. Our five principles. Behave with courtesy to others. Superiors are owed your respect. Likes and dislikes are a luxury ill-afforded. Those who are weaker must be helped. Difficulties must be faced head on. Some stern, but uh, fair for this world sort of rules. Old fashioned. Full length mirror. Is this a hakama? Like a fancy uh, coat there to wear? Looks nice. There's some lovely stones that someone must have found, but they're just plain old stones. And a paper lantern seems to use oil as its fuel. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of, you know, historical stuff. I think we might save and end here, because I'm sure tomorrow's going to be a big day. This, we didn't get that much done. We did catch all the starters for the professor, but I'm excited to see what will happen next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to leave a like for this rowdy boy running on his futon, I will appreciate it greatly. And, uh, you know, I do appreciate it. And if you want to subscribe, there is more Pokemon ahead. I am hopeful. I know, you know, I, I have some... Uh, some hiatuses, as I mentioned before, but this game is the most excited I've been for a Pokemon game in a long time, so I'm gonna keep at this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time for more Pokemon Legends Arceus. Goodbye! He's too hyper to go to bed. Goodbye! See you in the next episode!